All right, folks, the deck is Arena Warlock. The goal of the deck is to remove our opponent's stuff until they have no stuff, and then bash them in the face with big minions, either from Sea Devil Stinger into Gigafin, or we can get Molten and Mountain Giants down into a big Battlegrounds Battlemaster turn. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash waffle. Watch this! Do we ever just... <laughs> like take it in the early game and then try and go for a Molten into Reno. I think Molten with the Reno actually makes sense because if I'm gonna need to Reno, I'm also gonna need to test for an objection. Molten at worst allows me to do that. Ah, I see you brought guests. Job's done. I don't think this is a matchup where we want to uh, go for a wild growth. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Could find us a flare or something along those lines. Or just be used to test for secrets. Gonna offer me a flare here. Your wish is my suggestion. Bummer. Yeah. Job's done. I'll take that. Oof. Wow, what's troubling you? Was that intentional? I'm late. I'm late. the second objection that Reno is safe next turn. I can go Reno Broom to clean up the board as well. Your signature is required. Or at least attempt to. Uh, what is... Oh, okay. Well, I should have been more patient. I thought we had already tested for that, but I was very wrong. That was uh, actually a waste of a broom. And a pretty big oopsie there. I've seen one rigged fair game. Well, hmm. How many counter spells? Uh, what do I need? What do I need from Zeth? Or I could just go it's an Aryan ward and attack face. Because Zeth needs to be um flame strike next turn, I think. Oh. Yeah. We know it's not counterspell, so next turn, maybe I should have just... No, I wanted to protect against the rig fair game. 
a little bit concerning. No way they're trading. What are they afraid of here? Winning? trade into the Zeph now. Nope. Yeah. Excuse me, you are on fire. Okay, we know that's not uh rig fair game or um anything minion interact it looks an awful lot like a um counter spell, right? Unfortunately, I can't play the Forged in Flame. What is it then? Ice Block? No. Uh, the Water Ellie one? Oasis Ally? That's probably counterspell. I don't currently have a way to test for it. It's Oasis Ally or Ice Block, neither of which is that bad. Why don't you use Secret Helper? I mean, I do. It's been up the entire game, hasn't it? What? Naked Denathrius? against rogue worst case scenario it's like redundancy with a uh, viper to get ooze it's maybe not even worst case scenario that's maybe just good um Aspilor also good tamson is nuts uh this is a hand that can very easily win this and from the opponent that could very easily lose this
Yeah, welcome, Arkham. Play weapon. Ugh. Uh, might actually have to Zeph to kill this if they're going for a board based uh, game plan here. That means like a holy smite. Which never feels great. But it's better than dying. It kind of also indicates that they don't have the weapon. But they could have also just like drawn into the brigand and wanted to. Oh my god, please don't. Well, they'd create their own weapon, I guess. It's a pretty well-timed demonic assault. Into a very well-timed coin Tamsin. I think. Tamsin isn't necessary here. Especially with that draw. Dolores saved me so many times today. I really hope he can do it again. Five damage. Reno, where are you? You might just have to, let's, uh, oh! Okay, we're safe now. Probably just a Tamsin. And ignore the Reno. It's already too late. Could be passage, yeah. That's fine though. It's a good answer if it is. It's a good preemptive play if it is as well. Guess I should have gone with the Lothab. <laughs> I don't know how much this helps them though, right? Because then now they just effectively die to the uh, the Astalor, right? Put some gloves on. I'm one off. I think I just make a taunt. Yeah. 
think that's my best play here. Play around like uh, smite turns. God, their draws were so, so bad. gonna be a tough matchup like I need to win with either an Estelor or a Denethrius because consistently removing their threats is going to be uh, nearly impossible like I'm never is this ever right it doesn't get you to a shadow essence any faster unless you Maybe have the second palm reading. Job done. Is that ever occurred you want to play? I mean, I don't really want to, to give up a Dark Skies here, but sure. I should have done this in the other order, but I was thoroughly confused by their decision there. There's the second palm reading. Well, yeah, again, like if they are big priests, they don't get to the Shadow Essence faster with the coin palm reading. In fact, they get there slower or yeah, they get there slower because they could have they could have uh, palm reading into coin uh, essence, so it's okay. There's no world where this could possibly be big priest, right? I just refuse to accept that it is. So I'm going to use my resources as though it isn't. It is absolutely a big priest that we're up against right now. They're going to play a Shadow Essence here, I'm pretty certain. Thus making every single one of their turns incorrect. Nope. Well, this is going to be really rough for them. GG. 26 damage. What deck would this be, though? It, it's Big Priest. They're just... <laughs> like, every single card that they've played main deck is a Big Priest card. They just made some... Uh, some unfortunate decisions. More bones to knock! Strike! Well met. Super Fat Yeti, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that support. A decent hand for Secret Mage. Uh, the Knolls, unfortunately, ah, probably going to get eaten well by a secret, met. though. Threeper. Job's done. Or, yeah, Threeper, thank you for the, uh, the prime. 
Hey, we finally found a secret mage not running Renethal. Good for them. An incredible discovery. Bad for me. Well met. Zabela. Z Zabuela. Thank you for the prime. Nailed it. Apparently we uh, dust her next turn, I guess. Just to contest these and slow them down a bit. The culprit was not tight. And then maybe followed up with an Ocon. Whoa! Hype train chugga chugga chugga. <laughs> Thank you, Kali, for the uh, 200 bits. Really appreciate that. Is Aluna the bag card in Secret Mage, or is it too slow, doesn't need the draw? Uh, all of those things are true. To, like, it's not necessarily a bag card, it's just been outclassed like with the abundant quality Magic cards card. that Secret Mage has gotten. So getting the, the cards immediately from Sage is more in line with... Uh, Do I ever risk the uh, null here? I think it's pretty low risk, so I get an additional card. Okay, I have to proc those secrets at some point. At least now they're in my um, raised Deadpool. That's a very good draw. Nom. Do I ever silence my own minions here? I think it's actually a yep, because I don't want to give them the chatty back. It's more important than having a taunt. Because it looks to me like they were trying to set up for a Cloud Prince turn when they didn't have a uh, like enough followed? mana for that. Always? I don't think always is uh, true there. Like, most... Like, with the Soul Rend, I'm not that concerned about I actually losing the... Uh, um... The Gigafin, but I think in that context it made sense. You didn't see anything. All eyes shall be open. Bluffs have the real value. There was no bluffing. It was just the opponent didn't have the secret in play that they needed, or prior to that, or that I needed them to have, rather. This gives me the freedom to backfire if they just play a weapon here. Neat. I could also just, like, immediately top deck a Rust Rot Viper. That would be cool, too. Is it? 
that buff actually makes the uh, Dark Skies kind of brutal for me, doesn't it? We go here, coin of Dark Skies. That'll leave 3, 6, yeah. Probably the play, right? Because right now it's 6, 10, 12. Uh, so this would be 6, 7. Yeah, it's better to go here. I take less damage. I play Polk out and then cast something like draw a murloc, will this change the order of cards? Uh, no, it'll be just a random murloc from your deck, I believe. Okay. I think we hold back on the tap here. Just in case of like a uh, um, secret passage. Gives me enough time to get the Astolar down, ideally. So it looks like one of the 3-3s, three okay. This is fine. Okay, Next turn, we Gigafin. Then set up for the Ascalor lethal. Nice draw. I think we get there from here. It's a good top deck for a coward! So that was probably a bot. That attack was uh, pretty telling. Thank you to legendary patrons Battlefly, Brian Quinn, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, and legendary Discord member Saga 